Welcome to this Super Pro video. Today we'd like to talk to you about why we supply a sachet of grease with every Super Pro bush kit and why it's fundamental to making the polyurethane material work in a way that is different from how normal traditional rubber works. Starting first with a standard metalastic style rubber bush. The key design features of this bush are its rubber material in the centre, it has a steel outer shell and a steel tube at the middle of it, something I'm sure most of you are familiar with. The rubber material is bonded to the outer steel shell and also to the inner tube. So when the bush is fitted in the arm, the steel shell is tight in the arm and the tube and the end of the tubes is locked up tight in the chassis on the, on the car. Consequently, for the arm to move up and down, the rubber material has to twist. That's a function that is key to how that bush works. Unfortunately, if you were to design a bush in polyurethane, this material does not have those characteristics, so it will not twist in that same way. So the engineers who design Super Pro bushes understand and recognize this through the years that they've been developing the, the techniques they used to, to, to design the bushes. And as a consequence, they've developed a, a process which involves creating a bush which is actually more of a flexible pivoting bearing. So essentially the difference is that the material, when it's pushed into the housing, is tight in the housing. The steel tube down the center is not bonded to the material. Consequently, when it's assembled, the bush rotates around the steel tube at its center. Consequently, as it's moving and rotating around the steel tube at the center, the use of a grease as part of the installation is a key part to making that bush work. Without that, it will be too tight, it will be solid, and you would end up with some of the common complaints that people make about polyurethane, which it is noisy, it, is, it creaks, it squeaks, and also it makes the ride quality of the, of the car very harsh. So how do we fit them? Well, every Super Pro kit is supplied with a sachet of grease. This is a special silicon grease specifically developed for use in this application and is particularly sticky and very slippery, which makes it ideal for creating a free pivoting bush in a suspension component. So how does it work? Well, every Super Pro bush has got a knurling down the center. This is an innovation that Super Pro uh, employed oh, many years ago. This feature creates a series of voids which traps the grease and also reduces the surface tension between the bush and the tube, so it helps it pivot more freely when it's installed. So how much grease to use? Actually, not that much. Um, if you take a, a squeeze of the grease from the sachet, a smear around the inside of the bush is sufficient, and then sometimes a bit of a, a smear around the outside to help you push it into the housing, and then press it into the housing. Same again with the other one. Smear around the inside, little smear around the outside, and push it into the housing. And then taking the tube, you don't need to add much more to it now, but it always helps to put a little bit around the outside of the tube. And again, insert the tube into the center of the bush and push it straight in. And there you have it, installed nicely into the, into, the bu into the housing, ready to go onto the car. When it goes onto the car, the final thing is, this surface on the outside face of the bush is gonna come into contact with metal. So it's important to put another smear of grease around the outside of the flange of the bush, just to enable it to pivot freely within the, within the bracket when it's mounted on the car, and also to avoid any squeaking or noise coming from it. If you do that, once the tube is locked down tight on the end by the bolt when you torque it up, That'll locate nice and tightly in the car and the arm will move up nice, up and down nice and freely without any sort of interference from the bush. That's a useful feature as well because that feature means that there's no spring rate in the bush, which means that there's no interference between the bush and the other suspension settings you're creating on the car with these springs and dampers. All in all, very straightforward and very simple, but essential to make these bushes work correctly.